Hey Pirates, Cage Slinky here. Welcome to the first story of my series of Pirate Tales. Now many of you would have sailed past this quiet little town called Le Corde Weaver, which in recent days is a peaceful market town selling what some say the best linen on the seas. This town can be found along the coast of Africa, and in recent times is now under the management of the Compagnie Royale. But what many don't know is that it holds a past of blood-soaked treasure and years of one general and a pirate locked into battle. So let me tell you the story. In the twilight of his years, General Accord found himself haunted by the memories of the fierce piracy that once gripped the Caribbean. Decades ago, he chased a notorious Captain Rao, known as Red Hook, across stormy seas. Their ships locked into deadly dance. The chase ended on the blood-red sands at Mother of Shipwrecks, a place where legends told of buried treasure, known only to the most daring of souls. But now, Lockhart stood on the beach of the same island, a man weathered by time, but not by spirit. He received word that Red Hook was alive, rumoured to have hidden a fortune left unfinished in gold coins, jewel trinkets and cursed artefacts. His heart raced at the fort in the final confrontation. One last pirate war to reclaim his lost honour and treasures he needed to win back the heart of his poverty-struck town smoke. That night, under the gnarled palm trees, the two rivals met once again. The moonlight danced upon their blades, reflecting the years of rivalry that stretched between them like a taut rope. You old fool, Red Hook laughed, his voice rich with mockery. You think your time has come? Lacord smiled, the fire of battle igniting within him. It's not the years that matter, but the heart that beats beneath the weathered skin. With a roar they clashed under the stars, two titans of the sea pitted against one another once more. The battle was fierce but brief. Aged hands could not match the skill they once had in their youth. Yet amid the struggle, Lacord realised that this was not merely about treasure. It was a pain of never winning that final battle all them years ago and a chance to confront his own temptatious spirit. As dawn broke, the sea whispered secrets of old wars to the wind leaving the two foes lying on the beach with just the sounds of the bloody waves crashing into them. But one man was barely alive and breathing, and that man was Lacord. As the crew dragged Lacord back to the boat, he held a map showing the location of his ruined fortune. After killing Red Hook, he had found this map in his possession, and before leaving the island, other pirate crews working for Lacord were able to find it and take it back to Weaver. Sightings of Lacord were whispered after. Some say he died at sea, returning home from this battle. Others say he lived on a small island in solitude for years after. But one thing's for sure, Lacord gave town folk hope and a reason to live again. The town now rich in gold and pay money for items like frankincense, gin, ivory and even the occasional paintings. They also celebrated General Lacord, with statues of him made across the island. So there we have the story of Lacord Weave. Next time you sail past and see the statues, remember that good things can come to those who wait. Until next time, take care pirates and happy sailing. Flashmen to wait. Hurrah, me boys, we're home.